hey what's going on everyone welcome welcome again to another video in uh, this video hopefully I'm gonna try to make it as quick as possible and this is a uh, follow-up uh, slash update to my initial uh, USB tether tutorial that I did like a couple months ago for the Pika 4 uh, and the reason that I'm doing this video is because I see a lot of people getting lost on that other video unable to even run the commands they have no idea how to even run commands on the Windows command prone uh, some of them have even uh, pretty much uh, pinned me or drop me a message even asking me why they don't have the batch files that I show on a video they are unable to find them people those are just text files where you paste the commands that I show on the tutorial you're not supposed to have them there and I guess it was my fault to show you those bash commands because all you needed was pretty much the commands the ADB commands I'm gonna show you here the most easy way or the easiest way for you to get the tethering running in Pico 4 and the first thing that I want you to do is to go to this um, link right here I'm gonna leave this in the video description so you're gonna copy this link you're gonna put it in your browser press enter and this is going to take you to this uh, Google Drive and it's going to take you to this system settings APK all you need to do here at this point is just download it right there is already downloaded now you're gonna grab that file which I'm gonna show you now in a second okay so here's the file pretty much that we just downloaded from here let me just even remove the one because I don't want people asking me why they don't have the one the reason I have a one here is because I had the files the file already downloaded in my downloads directory so this is an APK file first of all you're not supposed to be running this or executing this on Windows. APK is an extension for uh, Android applications that you need to install on Android devices. As you know, or basically just to let you know, your Pico is running an operating system which is based on Android. So you're supposed to install this on your Pico. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So let me pause the video here and when I come back you're gonna see my Pico 4 I need to go ahead and connect the USB cable from my Pico 4 turn the headset on and then I should be able to see a directory or a storage here for my Pico and I'm gonna show you where you need to drop this file because we need to get access to it from within the headset so I'll be right back all right, so here we have my Pico 4 right here. This is my Pico 4, and this is the storage for my Pico 4. Here we got the file that we just downloaded. I'm going to put it here on the side. And then here's my Pico 4 storage. What I want you to do now is just double click on your Pico 4, and then we're going to go to the download folder here here you're gonna be surprised you're gonna find the file here but that that's because I've already installed it so I am I'm just gonna remove this just to not confuse you any further just imagine that you did not see the file here you're gonna copy what we downloaded you're gonna paste it here and now you're going to have that file already within your Pico 4 under the download directory. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to keep my USB uh, or my Pico 4 connected by USB to my computer. We, we don't, we're not supposed to remove the cable because we want to be doing USB tether. That's actually the game plan pretty much. So I'm going to go ahead now and I will uh switch over to my uh, uh pico 4 and i'm going to show you how to install this within your pico 4. the reason that you need this is because this is going to uh 
show you the hidden the hidden Android settings where you can go access the network settings for the Android operating system that the Pico 4 is running and from there you are going to be able to access uh, pretty much the network settings for the Pico 4 and then there you're gonna have like an auction that which you can toggle on and off which is uh, uh, USB tethering that way you don't have to deal with no ADB commands on Windows that's only the only thing you gotta do connect your USB to your computer and then once you have that auction available which we will make available by installing this APK then you just toggle it on and on whenever you want to do USB tether and that's going to add or enable the USB tethering so let me show you real quick here I'm gonna go to my network settings and now we're gonna keep it around here this is all, all my network adapters that we have at the moment here I got my Bluetooth this is my main net network interface car and then I have some other uh, VMware related ones this is for virtualization it has nothing to do with what we're talking about but just make sure that we only got four options here once we enable USB tether we're gonna have a fifth one and that's going to show you that the USB tethering it's working uh, via USB from your Pico 4. So we're gonna keep this window here. Uh, let me just minimize this too since we don't need them. And uh, this right now is already copied within the Pico 4 so we can minimize it here. So I'm just gonna keep recording here on my desktop. Uh, and you're gonna probably see some notifications popping up here for USB tethering or to allow USB tethering once I enable it from within the Pico 4. So I'm gonna, I'm, gonna keep, I'm gonna keep recording here. So now I am going to go and switch over to my Pico 4 and I'm gonna uh, show you how to install this in your Pico 4. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so here we are within the Pico 4 and uh, once you have copied the APK file within your download directory from your computer, uh, just go here to the file manager section if you don't see this here this file manager icon just go to library and then you're gonna see it right here and then you're gonna go to all files here then you're gonna go to download and here you will have your systems settings apk if you click on that one you're gonna get this prong here and it's going to ask you to install it. You will just go ahead and install it here. And once you hit install, it might ask you for, I mean, if you really want to install it, whatever, just, just say yes if you see some something like that. I already got this installed. So all you got to do is just install it. In my case, I already have it installed. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to show you basically now how this looks like. Once you have it in install you will see under your library in apps here you will see this icon here this android icon here system settings you're gonna click there and then you're gonna see all your regular android advanced settings like if this was like a like an app like a like a android cell phone or whatever are uh, you gonna want to go to a network and internet click there and here you will have this option which is a uh, hotspot in tethering. And then here you will have this other option here, which is USB tethering. You just got to toggle this on. Right. So as soon as you hit that toggle, you will see here that is going to enable. Now this is still not working until you allow it on your computer. So I'm going to switch back to my computer now. All right, guys, so as you can see here, when I actually enable the USB tether, uh, we got this pop up here uh, from Windows. Do you want to allow your PC to, uh, to be discoverable by other devices? You're going to click yes. And if you notice, we have a brand new network adapter here. This is your Pico 4 already connected via USB tether. And as you can see here, you have this driver rndis6 adapter now usb tether is already working so i am going to switch back to the pico 4 and i am going to show you that this is going to work so 
let's go ahead and switch back to the pico 4 i'm going to show you how to access virtual desktop for this all right so here we are back on the pico 4 again we still got the usb tethering enabled here already so we don't really need to be here anymore so now what we're going to do is to follow in um i believe this is still the case uh, you should not disable the Wi-Fi yet. You need to open virtual desktop, which we, which I am going to do now. And I'll wait for this computer to connect to my, or to my Pika 4, which it already did. And here we got my desktop, which I am also recording uh, with OBS. So I am already connected. So the big question is the following now. Am I going to be able to disable Wi-Fi and remain connected to virtual desktop? Because usually when you disable Wi-Fi just to remain on USB tether, uh, virtual desktop usually just disconnects. And uh, But I'm going to show you if that happens, I'm going to show you what I used to do. Because again, it's been a while since I used this uh, USB tethering method. So let's go ahead and go to Wi-Fi and we're gonna turn turn off the Wi-Fi here. And uh, Wi-Fi is already turned off. And yeah, we're still connected. We are still connected. And as you can see here, it says not connected to Wi-Fi. We are already on USB tether people. So now I can even launch, uh, let's just enable the, enable the performance overlay. Yes, it is enabled. So I'm going to launch Ver uh, Steam VR now. Here we are on Steam VR. And uh, one thing that you gotta keep in mind is that if you, I guess you can see here on the performance overlay, it says five gig Wi-Fi. We are not on Wi-Fi guys. We are on USB tether. And you can tell by the fact that that 1200 megabits per second will never fluctuate. It is going to remain steady there. That doesn't uh, change when you are on USB uh, tethering pretty much. And uh, if you look at the networking set, uh, latency, it's going to be pretty low. It's going to be less than six milliseconds always. So we are already on USB tether people. This is pretty much all you got to do. Now, I'm going to give you a caution message here. This is not a stable method. I no longer use this. Why do I not use it anymore? Well, because on Windows 10, and I believe also on Windows 11 users, this method, when you are playing, you might experience blue screens on Windows. And please don't ask me. Or don't post messages saying that this method uh, is causing your causing your blue screens. Because I told you guys on my previous vid uh, videos that USB tether was not reliable because of the problems with the with the uh, tethering drivers on Windows. So you will be experiencing blue screens. There's no work around it. We've tried, and I even spent countless hours changing drivers. And I will usually get the same problem, Windows blue screens. Now, if you do not want to have those trouble, then completely forget about USB tethering for now. I have a video on that. If you go to my Pico uh, playlist, just go look for USB tether, I mean USB uh, C to Ethernet adapter. I show you all the components that I bought. I show you how to connect the cables and there's nothing else needed you just need to connect the cables and that's pretty much it all right so i really hope you found this video useful uh straightforward hopefully to the point and uh yeah just make sure to hit that like subscribe to the channel if you're new and i will see you on the next one